just south of Birmingham, the busy metropolitan borough of Solihull is home to Catherine, Steve and their six children. For the last seven and a half years, they've lived in this six-bedroom, 1930s semi-detached house, which is extended over three floors. Morning. Hello. How are you both? Good Lovely morning. to see you. Can I um, pop in and have a nose around? Yeah. yeah good. <laughs> Thank you. Outside, the children have the run of the garden, which is also home to a menagerie of animals. Oh, it's a fantastic garden, yes, isn't it? It really is, yeah. You've got a boat in your garden. <laughs> <laughs> a rather random eBay purchase. <laughs> Despite the ample space, they've sold their beautifully maintained semi and bought this farmhouse in the country. It's fair to say that it's in need of a complete overhaul to make it habitable. By the looks of things and the sounds of things, the house fits you all perfectly, so why move? We've always had the kind of rumblings in our background that we would love to live in the country. OK. Um, and, they're, you know, they're lively children and they need that space yeah. where we're not kind of saying, shh, because we don't want to disturb the neighbours. And I need a bit more, Mum. Steve, a project manager for a charity, and Catherine, a graphic designer, both work from home. They love spending time outdoors with their children, but with a lack of green spaces nearby and this small garden, there just isn't enough space for a big family. With having more land, having animals, we are going to be outside and about um, more just by nature of necessity. Um, and I would be hoping that the kids would be out there with us. It will be new friends, new church, but we hope that it'll, it'll be, there'll be many positives to, uh, along with that. Situated near the Welsh border, the new rural property sits in one and a half acres of land. Have either of you ever lived in the countryside? No. OK. <laughs> <laughs> so why? I'm really interested to know why you think it's the right thing for your family. For me, it's that space. When you stand on the top of the, kind of the land and look out over the view, you just you feel free. They're leaving the West Midlands suburbs behind for rural Wales and this house, which is, well, in a pretty dilapidated state. The property is so big, at one point it was divided into two separate dwellings, with two living rooms, two bathrooms and even two kitchens. They've got their work cut out to return it to its former glory of one lovely big farmhouse. The house with huge potential. OK. <laughs> so how many bedrooms has it got at the moment? So it's currently got five bedrooms. So you've got one less bedroom than here. One of the bedrooms was taken out to put the second staircase in when they split the property. Oh. So we will take that staircase back out. OK. Um, and then block that back up and that will be the sixth bedroom. Steve and Catherine sold their current property for £415,000. And with the new house costing £325,000, they have £90,000 left for the renovation. Was your idea to try and clear a mortgage or...? We won't be mortgage-free. Basically, we'll have money, we'll have a good amount of money to do work that we need on the house, but yeah. also we want to try and, uh, and put in a, a holiday let. Steve and Catherine adopted all six of their children, and so using some of their 90 grand, they plan to build a log cabin holiday home on the grounds which caters specifically to busy fosterers and adopters like themselves. Is the idea to stop working and for that to be your income? We weren't trying to set up a business and make money from any of it. It was very much more of a, a giving back. Uh, it was something we felt called um, to provide for people yeah. and certainly when we put out the suggestion about it to our community we have online of fosters and adopters i think we could probably run a waiting list for two or three years of people wanting really? to come and stay they were very very excited about the idea as well as themselves and the children their new found space will also allow their many animals to flourish so these are all your chickens have they got names yes have they yes. what are they called this is Phoenix. Phoenix, she's beautiful, isn't she? May. May, yeah. Lola. Lola with the long tail. Yeah. And a mouse with the short tail. A mouse with the short tail. 
Would you like any other animals? We're getting pigs. You're getting pigs? This move will certainly not be without its challenges, but I'm confident if they can pull off the renovation and successfully set up their holiday let, this family will reap the rewards. Let's be rose-tinted just for a minute and project ahead. How would you envisage your life then? A balmy summer's evening when we've got a pizza toasting in the pizza oven out on the patio and we've got the family that's staying in the log cabin are walking down the path to come and join us for a, for a pizza. Yeah. And I just, I can see it. Oh, it's bringing tears to my eyes. It is, isn't it? You're bringing yes. tears to my eyes. <laughs> Steve, how about you? I'd just be happy when we've got a nice new kitchen, nice new bedroom, <laughs> new bathroom, and the house is nice and livable without mess and chaos. <laughs> <laughs>